Morning, Flash. How are you? How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm very right. well, thanks. Jack, maybe not. Morning. You're doing, doing a bit of shark diving there, you two. <laughs> it's just as dangerous. You two have got an awful lot in common, haven't you? What, good looks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a huge amount of charisma. <laughs> <laughs> Through the hole, and he's found Maunder. And that was brilliant. Just brilliant. How long do you reckon you're going to have to wait, Jack, until you're no longer son of Andy? I don't, son of. Oh, I don't know. Around these parts, I don't think it'll ever, ever yeah. wear off. And here is Jack Maunder making a European debut. He's yet to play in the Premiership. Dad Andy, by the way, sadly not able to be here this evening. They're visiting Jack's sister in the States. I did look at my wife, Felicity, and say, do you reckon we can get a flight? Yeah. And she's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was the weirdest thing, wasn't it? Because I can't remember the last game you missed. Even, like, school games coming up through the ages. Bound! I was excited, but I was extremely nervous. I was playing against probably my, my boyhood hero, Morgan Power. I was so focused on the game, and he just said hello in English. And I just looked up at him, and I was like, is he talking to me? Is he, uh... <laughs> I don't, I, and then I was just like... And then I missed it. The time was going on, and I couldn't go... The moment had gone. Bonjour, back. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it would have been a bit awkward. So I was so, I was, I was so gutted throughout the game. And then saw him after, and I was just like, oh, hi, how are you? Like, how are you right? And yeah. I finally, I hope I managed to redeem myself. So your dad used to have you scrubbing the kitchens here, didn't he? Yeah, when I was a bit younger, maybe about six or seven, uh, I used to put on Rocky the night before. Did you? A bit of, uh, <laughs> bit of motivation yeah. and say, look here, son, this is what you could be if you did... A bit uh, of shadow boxing on the meat shadow boxes, boxing, yeah. And a lovely break from Devoto. And there is Maunder, the 19-year-old. Having played at Exeter as a 12-year-old kid, yeah. there was never going to be any other club you wanted to turn pro with and play for as a man. It hasn't even entered my mind, really. It's, it's, it's home for me, and I do owe Exeter a hell of a lot for my um, aggression as a player. And obviously, Dad was there. Um, my grandparents come watch every game. Um, so it, is, it does have a very homely feel to it. There, how do you think you'd cope with that? Well, do you know what, Andy? I honestly reckon I, I, reckon I could either eat all of that or die happily trying. <laughs> So I guess Jack was always going to be a scrum half with you having been one yourself. So did he have any choice? So how early did you start him with an oval ball? Had I known he was going to be a boy, I'd have taken a ball to the, uh, the hospital. Yeah. Um, so when he got home, same with me with my grandfather, cushion thrown at you to start with. It's great that he's gone on to do it, but if he hadn't, he wants to do something else. As long as he's passionate about it and he loves it and he's happy, then, uh, then I'd have been happy, Dad. Yeah, no, it is useful to have someone who's probably the the darker arts of scrum half play and stuff yeah. that maybe he got away with more regularly back in you know back when he was playing. So you were saying he's a cheap shot basically. Oh, he's a cheap. That's the <laughs> way he got any game time. You know, sometimes once in a blue moon he's got something useful. So um, I do try and listen to him as much. Yeah, as one possible. of these days there might be a gem. Yeah, maybe. You know, if not, know. just use him for the meat. Yeah. <laughs>